Here's an update on where I'm at with uh, getting the gauge cluster uh, finished up so I can put it back in the gauge pod. Super happy with the results I got from using uh, Meguiar's Plasti-X. Uh, I used that to hand polish the uh, Plexi here that covers the, uh, uh, the gauges. Um, it took out a lot of scratches. It took out a lot of negative artifacts and really made a huge difference. So I, I can't say enough positive about that product. Um, at night, you know, I rolled the car to the garage to take a look at the gauges at night. At night, you can't even tell that there's any plexi here. So it did a nice job. There are some particularly deep scratches here and there that obviously I'm not going to get out. And I didn't feel like it was worth the risk of clouding up the plexi by um, polishing any harder right now. So I'll show you, take, show you what it looks like when I've got the cluster lit up. Major difference in how bright everything is. Um, if you if you were here to see it, it looks a little less orange than it comes out on the uh, you know on the uh, on my phone for the video, but it it is uh, really bright and clear. So a couple of notes um, after the fact. When I first put things back together, I realized that the lamps for each one of the <clears throat> uh, gauges for coolant, fuel oil pressure and battery um, had another uh, warning LED, had another warning incandescent at the bottom of them. Um, they were actually fairly easy to swap out. I pulled out the gauges um, and work, worked in um, LEDs for those. Again, they had load uh, limiting resistors in them. So that worked out well. Uh, one of them that's particularly bright, and I will say, by the way, before I took those out, they were the, those incandescents created a tremendous amount of heat, which certainly isn't good over time for the plastics. This one is a little brighter than the others because I used um, a higher lumen output um, LED uh, for the battery. So that shines a little bit brighter. But again, if you look at you know how the shift cluster uh, the PRND32 lights look huge difference with LEDs. That was well worth the work to do. Um, I can also turn on the uh, the indicator, and you'll see how nice that looks. And again, even zoomed up here, you can see how clear this plexiglass is now. So super excited about that. Um, the only light that doesn't come up here without me having to reach down and see if I can adjust it is uh, is the parking lights. So. Um, let me see if I can if I can wrestle this lamp. I've also got LEDs to replace these as well. Let's see. Let me set this down just for a second. And I'm back. And there's the parking lights as well. Um, I used white for everything. Um, I didn't use any colored lamps. Um, so this is all white backlit. Again, I got the LEDs from both super bright LEDs as well as uh, DigiKey for what I wanted to do. And I've got some updates, uh, got some updated LEDs coming for each one of the individual gauges as well. So I'll be pulling out these incandescents, but came out super nice. I strongly recommend making this change if you're debating it. Um, it's worth the effort.